Qatar's royal family is one of the world's wealthiest dynasties. They are said to be worth over $335 billion. This is no small change. Their massive wealth is thanks to profits from the sale of its rich natural resources, investments in London's Shard Skyscraper, Harrods Department Store, Stakes in Barclays Bank, Volkswagen, British Airways, and so much more. But the question is, what does the royal family do with all of these riches? Well, you're about to find out. Get ready to be amazed by the luxuries Qatar's royal family splurges on. When Qatari royals aren't in their luxury home, they're lounging somewhere in one of their floating palaces. That is their luxurious super yacht. The Emir owns the Katara, one of the world's most expensive and largest mega yachts. This machine cost nearly $400 million and measures 124 meters long. It also boasts a helicopter pad and several decks with enough space to hold up to 35 guests and 90 crew members. And this is just one of their yachts. In 2019, Mega Yacht News reported that a fire at a shipyard in Doha destroyed three yachts belonging to the royal family. Apparently, royal family members are masters of the sky too. In 1977, they established an exclusive airline called Qatar Amiri Flight. This flight caters to only royal family members and high-ranking government officials. Word on the street has it that the airline currently has 14 aircraft, including three jumbo Boeing 7478, the brand's most expensive commercial jet. A unit costs over $400 million. The airline also boasts several Airbus models, including an Airbus A34300 valued between $350 million and $500 million. Other airplanes range between $100 and $300 million. Talk about real luxury. Imagine riding in an airplane that costs over $400 million. It's like owning a luxury sky kingdom. Yachts, airplanes, and now cars to match. We're talking about a huge fleet of fast cars. Members of the royal family have been spotted with fancy car models from the priciest brands across the world. The Emir has a collection of several Bugattis like Chiron Devo Lamborghini Centenario White Coupe, a Centenario Roadster, a Mercedes AMG 6x6, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, and the list goes on. Speed enthusiasts will do anything to explore one of these cars. The royal family is not just into flashy rides, it also splashes a fortune on paintings and collectibles. You'll be shocked at these details. These artworks cost tens of millions of dollars. For instance, they got Mark Rothko's painting White Center for a whopping $72.8 million. And that's not even all. Andy Warhol's Men in Her Life sells for $63.4 million. In 2011, the royal family bought Cezanne's The Card Players for $250 million, making it the world's most expensive painting sold at the time. It has now been overtaken by Willem de Kooning's Interchange, which sold for $300 million, and Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi, which cost $450 million. Qatar's royal family lives in the Doha Royal Palace. I tell you what, this structure is like something out of a fairy tale. It is covered in gold. It has 15 different palaces, a car park containing over 500 cars, and costs around $1 billion to build. Talk about next level opulence. In 2019, the Emir built a white palace in Oman with similar materials used in the Doha Royal Palace. You would expect the royal family to be fine with these structures, but no, they expanded their empire to London and purchased three houses in Cornwall Terrace in Regent's Park. This home is nothing like modest, as it costs a jaw-dropping $140 million. The plan was to convert it into a super mansion with 17 bedrooms, a cinema, 14 lounges, a juice bar, and a swimming pool. Let's have a quick trivia before we wrap up. Imagine someone gifts you $300,000. What would you splurge on? A luxury vacation, a shiny new yacht, or perhaps a fancy sports car? Please let us know in the comments below. And while at it, smash the like and subscribe button to stay updated with the juiciest celebrity luxury news. See you in the next one.